Today I'm going to show you how to make a vet approved balanced dog food diet great for our dogs that have digestive issues. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Tool is in for a treat today. On the menu, we have eggs. We have ground beef. We have brown rice. We have chard. We have flax. We have calcium. We have an omega-3 supplement. We have sunflower oil, and we have a multivitamin, multi-mineral dog supplement. The basis of any really good dog food, one that's made homemade, is you want at least 50% to be animal protein. So we're gonna have 50% animal protein, one quarter carbohydrate, one quarter veggies. I wanna make a week's worth of food for Tula. Anytime you're trying to calculate about how much food to feed to your dog, base it primarily on the animal protein, and you're looking about a pound of food fed per 50 pounds of body weight daily. Little Tula, she's about 25 pounds. We're looking about a half a pound of beef. So that's why you have me here. A good little over three pounds of ground beef. That's gonna be the basis of her diet. We're gonna make enough to last a week. Our animal protein, our ground beef, this is three pounds. We're gonna be frying that up first. There's the basis of our dog food. You know, all those amino acids, those are the building blocks of the animal protein. That what gives your dog all those vital nutrients. You know, there's that source of iron, allows them to carry oxygen. Build strong muscles, prevent things like diabetes, cancer, etc. It's like animal protein is the basis. Let's fry up our animal protein. We want is extra lean ground beef. We want to minimize the amount of animal fat. Drain some of the excess fat. Next, we're gonna increase the animal protein. We're gonna add in additional nutrients in the form of gluten, zinc, iron, iodine. Well, in these guys, eggs. So good for you, so good for your dog. This is gonna make about six meals. So I'm adding in one egg a day for our 25 pound dog. Six eggs. Yummy poodle. We're gonna mix those up. Yummy, yummy. It's now our egg burger. The eggs are also very high in vitamin D. Vitamin D is a really important vitamin that many dogs just don't get enough of. There's an array of different studies specifically linking many of the cancers to vitamin D deficiency in people. And it's likely possible that much the same thing is happening in our dogs. You wanna ensure your dog has adequate vitamin D and you're making your dog food at home. Add in additional eggs, specifically it's in the egg yolks. Next, the veggies. I've had to resort to frozen veggies. This is chard, but it's a great nutrient source for a dog. It's high in the B vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K. It's rich in many of the minerals, potassium, magnesium, iron, and it's a great source of fiber. We're gonna make one quarter of veggies. We're gonna be adding in three cups of the chard. So let's measure this out. And then I'm gonna mix it into the cooking hamburger and eggs. There's about two cups. There's about two cups of the chard. Our second bag, our third cup. Now we've got three full cups of that chard cooking up with our hamburger and eggs. I am choosing a carbohydrate, but we're still only making this a quarter of Tula's diet. So I'm choosing brown rice. Brown rice is high in calcium, fiber, magnesium, protein, selenium. It's also a great source of flavonoids. These are some of these beneficial medicinal healing nutrients. They're really high in brown rice. So it can do a lot of good things for your dog. The big point here is we're only making it a quarter of Tula's diet, a quarter of your dog's diet. So we're gonna make her or your dog him prone to things like obesity 
here is our bowl of ground hamburger, our six eggs, and our chard. Now the cooked brown rice, I went ahead and cooked that ahead of time. We're gonna be adding in about three cups. So there is about two. Let's get about another cup. Give another cup. Mmm, poodle. Yummy. Next, I'm gonna add in a healthy fat in the form of sunflower oil. It's a great balance to omega-6, omega-3 fat. It's also really high in that really important antioxidant, vitamin E. It's also one of the most important skin oils in terms of being a natural ceramide. In terms of that's the healthy fat that helps you know rebuild and protect the skin layer to prevent things like allergens penetrating into the skin in the first place. The amount of sunflower is based on the amount of animal protein. So it's about one tablespoon of sunflower oil per pound of animal protein or beef. We've got three pounds in here. I'm gonna be adding in three tablespoons. Three. If you're gonna make the food balanced, you need to be adding in additional calcium. We're not feeding ground up bones. Like Tula just hasn't killed the cow and chewed up the bones. You're typically looking at 500 milligrams or half a teaspoon for 25 pounds of body weight daily. So that could be a half a teaspoon of ground eggshell of this calcium carbonate, which really is just ground eggshell. So we're gonna be adding in about one tablespoon, which is about a half a teaspoon per day. Because we're making about six meals. There's one tablespoon. We're adding in ground flax. We gotta grind our flax. Flax is an awesome source of fiber, potassium, protein, calcium. Like this ground flax, super inexpensive. And it's also really, really rich in a thing called ligands. These are also specific nutrients only found in ground flax, which have been shown to be very beneficial and protective against many of the cancers. I want Tula to get about a half a tablespoon a day. So we know we're making this into about six meals. So I'm going to be adding in about three heaping little tablespoons of flax. Yum, yum. All right, Tula, it's looking good. There's two other additional things I'm gonna to add to this homemade diet to make it complete and balanced to be as like such a nutritional powerhouse as it can be. Number one, the omega-3 fatty acids. I prefer these in the form of krill oil. I mean, they're considered probably one of the most important uh, nutritional supplements in veterinary medicine. You think about allergies, arthritis, cancer. If we look at something like krill, it's about 500 milligrams per 25 pounds of body weight daily, but you want to, you don't want to put it into the food and have it oxidize. Once it oxidizes, it loses many of its medicinal qualities. So I just want to keep it in this capsule formation, then use it as needed. So of this homemade diet, Tula should be getting a maximum of two cups of this food a day. So here is one cup. This is gonna be her morning meal. One cup going into the bowl. I'm gonna drop in one capsule of the krill. And last, but completely not least, my supplement, Ultimate Canine Health Formula, the Advanced Formula. Ultimate Canine Advanced can help support Tula's joints can help support Tula's gut health, can help support Tula's skin health, can help support Tula's overall immune health. Super, super important. So I'm gonna once again though, add this into her individual meal. I want her to be having this once daily and I don't want it open and oxidized uh, and frozen and unfrozen. So I would suggest one, after you've pre-made all the food, Right as you're daily feeding your dog, add in some form of omega-3 fatty acid supplement if you're gonna be doing that, aka in the form of krill. And if you're gonna be adding in something like Ultimate Canine, add that in daily with your dog's food. You don't want that frozen and unfrozen because I then know this way it's gonna potentially provide the most benefit to your dog. Tula's dose, she gets about a half a scoop of the advanced. It's being mixed in there, you go poodle. Okay, let's mix it up and see if she likes it. And the advance. So we've got that little krill capsule somewhere in there. Yay, good girl. You can then take this food, break it up into equal portions. 
you know, freeze that. I'm just curious as to exactly how much food I've made here. So we know Tula has eaten one cup. So let's just measure this out first and just see. About, hmm. So it's about 12 cups of food. So if Tula has one cup twice a day, that would be two cups a day times six. That'd give me about six days. I think she's probably closer to about one and a half. So three quarters of a cup twice a day. So this should last me about one week. Wow. One week of food. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of how to make a week's worth of dog food. Vet approved, balanced, tasty. Even really good if your dog's got digestive issues. Click up there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.